Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dom. In this video, we are going to learn about union transformation in mapping data flow in Azure Data Factory. So, union uh, transformation is used to combine uh, rows from uh, multiple uh, inputs uh, and it will create a single output for us. Uh, so, let's uh, go ahead and take a look here. First of all, I have a file called Total Sale Asia and uh, uh, open that file and uh, let's take a look we have id sale person first name last name and uh, some other columns in this uh, table uh, sorry file and uh, there are four records and all those four records belong to asia region uh, you can see right there and then we have same type of file uh, but uh, that's uh, from europe now let's edit that one same columns you can see right there and it has a uh, three records uh, so when we union them uh, it means uh, we want to combine these records uh, so four records from this uh, asia file three from the europe and then there will be total of seven records that will be able to write to some destination so that's what we want to do so it's not the uh, let's experiment this one a little more details and there are tons of things that we need to learn in the union transformation in the azure data factory so here i'm in uh, azure data factory i go to the data flows and new data flow and uh, here i will connect to my first source so add source and then we will go to the data set now we we'll know that our Asia file and Euro file they are sitting in the blob storage. So I'm going to click right there and select CSV file. Now I can give a proper name. I'm going to call this one DS Asia. So I don't uh, mess up with the multiple data set names and all that. So I need to create a new link service. Here I will be going to the uh, my subscription. Then I will be going to my storage, and uh, that should do it. I can call this one uh, uh, Tech Brothers. Uh, ln case sto or storage so i gave a name to it and the tag is the link uh, storage and uh, you can give better name than me and we are going to use this uh, link service to connect to the file here we will be navigating to the container and then choosing uh, our file so asia is the one that we would like to choose first because we are creating a data set for a ds asia now this uh, uh, file has uh, first row as a header that's fine and uh, select the schema you know or import schema from the file so that's fine let's go and take a look here now we have source options we are not making any changes here let's go to projection and see that uh, all the data even its uh, id is a uh, integer it uh, just uh, uh, choose to uh, convert that to the string or say that uh, or uh, data factory say like oh i can uh, use id as a string data type that's fine id fits in the string as well but it's an uh, integer and uh, we leave this one as of now but we are going to go back probably here in this demo and do some changes now i'm going to go for second data set to add source and here what we will do we'll create a new data set to the europe file so select the file and I'm going to call this one DS Europe. And now we'll select our link service that we created is same link service because we are uh, pointing to same container and uh, it's a uh, Europe file. And uh, now we we'll, uh, yes, it has a header and uh, yeah, import schema from the file. That's fine. No big deal. And now this looks good. So we have, uh, I'm going to go and also name these guys instead of source one and uh, so I will say so SRC Asia and then uh, I will uh, name the other one uh, SRC Europe. This really help honestly believe me because uh, the, a lot of times you will see like oh uh, what is source one source two so you have to open re uh, multiple times and all that so at least you can avoid this so much waste of time. Now let's uh, click right here on the plus sign and then we'll select union. Uh, once you select that see it is selecting 11 columns that it has from here so that's fine now you can also name uh, union total sale okay so that uh, we are given the name to our uh, union and uh, name containing valid characters okay so maybe not underscore is not uh, there so that's fine and uh, here what we want to do we want to incoming stream src asia and then we want to union with the another stream called the src europe now if you see that i have only two inputs but you can add multiple outputs so let's say you want to add another one yeah that's possible so now if i will go just bring it here another source and now let's uh, let me use the same data set in this one 
So if I go back here and uh, I can click right there and it will let me add the third one. So you see right there that was the source one. So you can keep adding so you don't have to have only two inputs so you can have multiple uh, inputs for your union. In my case I'm going to just delete this one because that's not really needed. Now what we can see here uh, we have 11 columns coming from both of them and uh, now we can preview the data. So right here if you see that transformation, uh, transformation stream is invalid fix errors to enable data preview. So if we click right there and it is telling us uh, uh, the transformation name SRC Europe in the data flow data flow 2 contain invalid character only alphanumeric characters are supported. So it looks like uh, this underscore is not supported in the name and so we are gonna take care of that part. Let's go back to the union and uh, as we have fixed uh, the name and uh, now right now we don't have underscore anywhere in the naming convention so we should be good here. Let's uh, refresh and uh, uh, take a look on the data. So it should uh, get uh, four rows from our uh, Asia uh, file and uh, three records are from our Europe uh, and then put them together for us. Uh, so I see right there it that's what it did. It has uh, records from uh, four records from the Asia and then uh, three records from the Europe. Uh, now what we can do here we can insert this data into a table. Uh, let me go uh, to the sync here and then uh, I'm going to write this data to the Azure SQL table. So let's uh, go to new and uh, here we'll say SQL your SQL and then uh, we are gonna select uh, new and here I will be creating linked service to the uh, my Azure SQL database. Um, so server name is TechBrothers and database name is TechBrothers IT and the username is uh, TV user and password is my favorite uh, DBA123 and the dollar sign. Now let's uh, test the connection and uh, successful hit OK and we are all good here. We are going to select a table called the total sale and uh, import schema is just fine leave that as it is uh, because I have created this table with the exact definition uh, of the file. So right there if you see uh, that's the table I have created. Uh, now what we are going to do once the data is inserted we should see some data in this table. Now let's go back here and uh, now what we are going to do here. Uh, let's uh, bring a new pipeline and in that pipeline we'll drag our data flow. Now we will debug and it should read the data from two files total sale Asia and total sale Europe and union that data and then put into the table. Our data flow with the pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look on our table. So I execute this query, select start from dbo.totalsale and I'm getting all these records. Uh, as of now, if you see that I don't did not use the file name, so I can add that actually in the file name. So we will know that these records are com coming from which file. Uh, so this is how the union took all these records from one file and then also put a, join them with other file and put that together. Let's go back here and uh, let's uh, click on, uh, actually let me go to the pipeline here and uh, right there. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things but uh, let me click right there in the output we go to the this uh, detail and here we should be able to see the details so you have this uh, source it tells you how many rows come in from here and then how many rows come in from the second source and you can make it a little large so you can pretty much read the whole name so you can have uh, like uh, three rows came from Europe and four rows came from uh, Asia now we click on union and uh, then uh, Union has a total seven rows and uh, then uh, it wrote seven rows to the sink. Uh, how much time it take took and all that uh, our details are right here as well. Uh, now we go back to our pipeline and uh, here what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the data flow too. That's for our data flow. Now as of now I did not add the file name so I'm going to go back to our source and here in the source options you can actually add to the file name. So I'm going to say file name. So next time this file name column will be created and it will be writing the data to the file name column in our table that we already have it. So we don't have to do a whole lot here. Uh, as I added the column, see it is showing 12 columns and also union took that column uh, from it. I can go ahead and refresh and it is going to show me the column name, uh, file name column. Now that's fine. Uh, we don't, don't have to worry about that column. And uh, what we are interested, I'm interested in more experimenting. Now in this case if you guys remember that so the Asia and the Europe file are exactly the same. Now let's go back here and uh, now we are going to click on Asia and go to edit. 
here uh, the country you know, we have country here in the asia and europe as well so one of them i'm going to go ahead and say country name instead of country so i made this the uh, column chain name so now one column is different in each of the file the asia has a country name but europe has the only country so what will happen in this case so what's going to happen now let's go ahead and take a look here so if you guys see we made the change to the asia file and that has country we will go here in our source and go to the projection in the projection it is keeping still the same country we have to refresh so i'm going to go ahead and say import projection and it's going to get us the new definition so now you can see that it is bringing us a country name here so that's a, that's correct and also when i did the import projection it changed a couple of data types here so now it changed id to the short and here it changed the item sold to the short and the sold price to the short and that is correct so in this other one if you see right there uh, the first time also we took this projection from the import schema but uh, somehow th this uh, data type all were string so that's why we didn't get any error or anything like that now if i click here on the union it is telling me hey you don't you have 13 unique columns so this is 12 columns here 12 columns here but remember one column country name is here that is and here is a country so those are treated as a different columns now now if i go to union here what's going to happen it's going to show me a bunch of uh, errors now why i want to spend time here and show you because i was also struggling like how to fix these things so here you are seeing union total table incompatible type of uh, column sold date type and string so it means uh, what is coming here they should be the exact same data type so what's uh, here in this uh, source now in the if i go in the projection here uh, in the europe it everything is string that's also one way to fix everything or other way i can uh, change the to the short uh, or the integer or dates and all that in the europe so easy for me is like okay i will go just uh, uh, revert back everything to the string and that's fine for my data because uh, i don't have a whole lot of data that does not fit into this uh, string data type so i'm fine now if i go right there and uh, now if we refresh uh, what's going to happen uh, is going to get us the data from uh, total sale asia and total sale europe but remember we have different columns uh, such as country and country name so now instead of uh, only having one column it's going to create uh, two columns so still it will union the data as fine and uh, if you see right there so the total salmon records are here and uh, but it has added a country name column from the asia and uh, we have a country name country from the europe see right there so these two columns uh, came as unique column so wherever the column matches exactly with the same name like region region is in both files so we have data for all from the both files if the column names are not matching uh, in both files they will come uh, as it is uh, so for this is from the asia region and sorry asia file and uh, see it is it has the data for asia now this one uh, country does not ex exist in europe anymore because we changed to the country name that's why we are seeing null here and uh, this uh, has data for europe so if you have uh, different columns in uh, your file that's going to be fine but at the end uh, in the union you're going to get all the column uh, unique columns from your sources so now how you handle that as we are writing the data to our table we can do two things one uh, what we can do we can go ahead and say alter our table and just uh, uh, take this definition and uh, drop this and if that's what we want or do you have other options too you know instead of uh, just country here i can also add another column called the country name and that should do it so now if i will do country name right there okay so that's uh, gonna take care of it now we can drop this table and recreate this table and run over that so let me do drop table and then we drop the table and we created it so it depends on your scenario uh, there are other ways i'm going to show you as well okay so now what we did we just made the change and uh, we didn't do anything on sync side because we also took care on the sync side we created a new column called the country name that's what uh, union has it from our asia file so we can go back to our pipeline and execute the pipeline 
So our pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we have total sale table and I'm going to execute. And you see right there as we have added country name. So it is bringing the data from Asia file. See right there and then uh, there is no country column in the Asia file. That's why it's shown as blank. Now in the other way around here we don't have country name in the euro file. So all the null values are coming and we have country values as country column is in an Europe file. And also as we have added the file name that's helpful uh, which from which file this data is coming. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, further uh, on uh, different uh, options. Uh, now let's go to the data flow here and go to the union. Now go to union settings and here you, you've been seeing that I have union by name. So that means I'm union, union, I'm doing the union depending upon the name of those uh, fields. So in the uh, in the uh, total sale issue I have uh, first uh, those uh, ID, sale person, first name, last name and all that. So in the same one uh, we have in the uh, Europe. So this is uh, happening, uh, the union happening according to the name. Now what we want to do instead of uh, doing that uh, we can do the position. So let's say in this case uh, if you guys notice that like uh, we have different names uh, such as a country here in the Europe and country name column in the Asia file but we know that uh, this is a country name right. So we can uh, instead of doing the name we can do uh, the position and uh, that's going to be helpful in these scenarios or maybe for you are getting different files but in the position of those columns they are exact same data but name and name and uh, name of those columns are different uh, and uh, here you can do position if you do that uh, now let's refresh and take a look so now we go all the way on the end and here what we are seeing here country name remember that we have uh, in the asia we have a uh, country name and uh, that's the column it uh, chose. So in the mapping, that's uh, you know where we had the first one attached with it. So that's the column it took, uh, and also it uh, brought the data from uh, both sides. So it is just uh, using the position of uh, the column. So that's good if we know that like uh, you know our columns uh, names can be changed, but uh, the position uh, they will uh, they have the exact same data. So we can use position instead of uh, uh, using the um, uh, name. So now what I will do if I can go ahead and truncate the table and uh, you know we can reload the table if we want. So let's uh, truncate our table one more time and uh, or drop our table. Here we can uh, just drop and uh, recreate table. We don't need a country here anymore. So let me just uh, get rid of country and we just leave, leave, leave with the country name. And we are using position, right? So now we should be fine because we don't have country anymore here anywhere. So we we should be good, and uh, we can go ahead and execute our pipeline. And now let's debug. Our pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look on the data. So we will select start from uh, our table, and uh, here you can see that we have a data for country name. Even uh, our column names are different in the source file. Now we are using position. So that's uh, really helpful in cases where you have a different uh, header in your uh, each of the file. So see right there, that's where I was talking about. Uh, we have a country name here, and uh, that's what it took. And uh, then uh, use this uh, column headers, and then other file uh, have, can have a different uh, columns, but we are using uh, the position. So that's why it is uh, bringing us all the data. Now I don't think so. There is anything else I can explain here. Uh, so we already went through union. Let me go back one more time. So we can use name or position and we can add multiple inputs as I told you from here. And uh, now if you want to go optimize, we use single partition for now or current partition. We will talk about these later. And these are the, just the columns of what you are seeing here, you know, uh, from the inspect. You can, um, that's, that's the information. You can preview the data. So I hope this video is helpful. I, what I will do, I will put the both files in the description so you can take from there and experiment. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.